Hi everybody and welcome to module 5 lesson 18 for um, the worksheet pay part. This is a division a review just again. So just remember when you have division you're starting out with your whole number. How many total parts? And then you're dividing it into how many groups? In this case 10 is div being divided into 10 groups. And what 10 times what would give you that 10? So if you have 10 items and you're dividing them into 10 groups, how many would be in each group? So that's one way to think about division as it relates to multiplication. So down here, it says place the num the fractions on a number line and compare the fractions using greater than, less than, or equal to. So first we're gonna need to place the fractions. So we're doing, if you look at the denominator for both, you're dividing it into fourths. So if this is zero to one, this would be zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and this would be four fourths. So it wants to know which one, if one fourth is greater than, less than, or equal to two fourths. So it stopped there. So we need to find our one fourth. So here's one fourth, and we need to find two fourths. Those are our two. So when we're looking at it, is one fourth greater than or less than or equal to two fourths? In this case, one fourth is less than two fourths because it comes first on the number line. And if I compare this piece, if I did just this piece, that's one fourth. And if I looked at the rest of it, I'm gonna go over all of it, all of this would be two fourths. So two fourths is greater, one fourth is less than. So this time we are dealing in thirds. So we're dealing in thirds. We're gonna divide this into, this is zero over three. So we need to do two lines here, one line here, one line here, one third, two thirds, and then over here is three. So when we're looking at our number line, we're trying to decide if one third is greater than or less than three thirds. So right here is one third, over here is three thirds. Which is one third? Is it greater than or less than? So if you're looking at it, you're looking at that's just a third right there. But then if I wanted to switch it up, this, all of that would be three thirds. So, is it greater than, less than, or equal to three-thirds? One-third is less than three-thirds. Down here, we have, ooh, we're dealing in halves. Ooh, this is tricky. We're going to do two types. We're going to do halves, and we're going to do fourths. I'm going to do two different colors just to show you what it looks like. So, I'm going to compare halves to fourths. So first I'm gonna mark off a half. If I'm doing a half, this would be zero over two. And then this one would be two over two. So right in the middle would be my one over two. So I divided it by halves. So those are my halves. I'm gonna pick a different color to do fourths on, just to show you this example um, so that it works a little differently. So this would be, now we're gonna do our fourths. So if this is zero over four, this would be four over four. So we have to do a one fourth, a two fourths, and a three fourths to match that up. So I would do one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. So this would be one fourth, this would be two fourths, and this would be three fourths. So we wanna know if a half is greater than, less than, or equal to a fourth. So here is our half, and here is our fourth. So if I do it this way, be purple, our half goes to there, and our fourth goes to there. So in this case, a half is greater than 
a four. All right, this last one is two thirds versus three sixths. Six, sorry about that. So we're gonna start with our purple and we're gonna do thirds first. So this would be zero thirds and over here it would be three thirds. So I need to do a one third and a two third to make it match. One third, two third, one third, two thirds three-thirds. Cool. We're doing two-thirds this time. So I'm actually going to do this a little bit differently. Draw my dot right there for two-thirds. Now, I don't know why I switched markers, didn't need to. We're going to do a green for our sixes. So this is zero six. This is six six. So I need to do one six, two six, three six, four six, five, six, because I already do six, six on there. I have to draw five lines. So then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five lines. So zero, six, one, six, oops, two, six, three, six, four, six. And then this one would be five. So we are comparing two thirds to three sixths. And where's my three sixths? Oh, three sixths is right here. So three sixths is here. You can see that. And two thirds is right there. So two thirds is greater than three sixths. So it sounds like three sixths would be larger, but actually it's not. Three sixths is actually less than two thirds. So that is module five, lesson 18 worksheet page.